let the transformation from P1 to M22 be a linear transformation where T of 2 plus 6 T equals the matrix 8, 2, 0, negative 4, and T of 3 plus T equals the matrix 4, 3, 0, 2. We're asked to find the transformation of 5 minus 9 T. To begin, we need to write 5 minus 9 T as a linear combination of the expressions we know about, which are the expressions 2 plus 6 T and 3 plus T. To begin, we have 5 minus 9 T equals C sub 1 times 2 plus 6 T, and then plus C sub 2 times 3 plus T. And now we need to solve for C sub 1 and C sub 2. We will do this by creating a system of equations by equating the coefficients. For the next step, we clear the parentheses on the right, which gives us 2C1 plus 6C1T plus 3C2 plus C2T. So notice on the right side we have two constants and two T terms. The constant terms are 2C1 plus 3C2, and the T terms are 6C1T and C2T. So let's group the constants and T terms on the right. So the constant terms again are 2C1 plus 3C2 plus, let's factor out the T from the two T terms. The coefficients of the T terms are 6C1 plus C2. And now I can write a system of equations. Notice that 2C1 plus 3C2 must equal 5, and 6C1 plus C2 must equal the coefficient of T, which is negative 9. So once again, we have 2C1 plus 3C2 equals 5, and we have 6C1 plus C2 equals negative 9. Now let's go ahead and solve the system using an augmented matrix, where the first row is 2, 3, 5, and the second row is 6, 1, negative 9. The next step is to write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form, which I've already done to save a little bit of time. The first row is 1, 0, negative 2, and the second row is 0, 1, 3. So now we know that C sub 1 is equal to negative 2, and C sub 2 is equal to positive 3. Going back up to the first line, we now know that 5 minus 9t is equal to negative 2 times the quantity 2 plus 6t plus 3 times the quantity 3 plus t. Now that we have 5 minus 9t written as a linear combination of the expressions that we know about, we will now take the transformation of both sides of the equation. This gives us the transformation of 5 minus 9t equals the transformation of negative 2 times the quantity 2 plus 6t plus 3 times the quantity 3 plus t. And now because we have a linear transformation, we can use the properties of linear transformations to write the transformation of a sum as a sum of transformations and then factor out the scalars. Let's continue on the next slide. The transformation of 5 minus 9t is equal to, so again on the right we can write the transformation of the sum as a sum of transformations, which gives us the transformation of negative 2 times the quantity 2 plus 6t plus the transformation of 3 times the quantity 3 plus t, and then we'll take advantage of the second property and factor out the constants or scalars of negative 2 and positive 3. This gives us the transformation of the quantity 5 minus 9t equals negative 2 times the transformation of the quantity 2 plus 6t plus 3 times the transformation of the quantity 3 plus t. Notice now we can substitute for the transformation of 2 plus 6t and the transformation of 3 plus t. This gives us the transformation of 5 minus 9t equals negative 2 times. The transformation of 2 plus 6t is the matrix 8, 2, 0, negative 4. And then we have plus 3 times the transformation of 3 plus t. The transformation of 3 plus t is the matrix 4, 3, 0, 2. And now we can actually find the transformation. Transformation of 5 minus 9t 
is equal to the two by two matrix where the entry in row one, column one is negative two times eight plus three times four, which is negative 16 plus 12, which is negative four. The entry in row one, column two is negative two times two plus three times three, which is negative four plus nine, which is five. The entry in row two, column one, is negative two times zero plus three times zero, which is zero. And the entry in row two, column two, is negative two times negative four plus three times two, which is eight plus six, which is 14. I hope you found this helpful.